This is a ring bank game. Welcome again, guys, to this beautiful showdown between the two legend Shane Van Boyning and Silver Choa. Shane Van Boyning breaks the ball in rock number nine. Who said, who said good cue ball control? Was that, you, you did. Did you, I say that? Yeah, but he played position for the one. That's what happened. The great. You heard of UJ Puck? Shane Van Boyning is an American professional pool player from Rapid City, South Dakota. Van Boyning is considered as one of the best players of all time. Shane's opponent is Silver Ochoa. He is also a great one pocket player and a great upper. Great shot from Van Boyning there. When you're slow rolling a ball like that, it is vital you stay still on the ball. And always, uh, you know, if your nerves are ever going to be exposed, it's shots like that that'll make you jump and twist. Right. Exactly, Danny. Juan Real, did he overspin it? No, he, he, he hit it real good because you don't need English on that shot. If you put English on that shot, you wind up further downstream and you're not in position. Yeah. I don't know whether or not this four passes the nine into the corner pocket. Shane's had a good look at it. Certainly there's either a combination or a billiard right. that's available. A combination for you people who don't know out there. A combination is when you shoot one ball into the other and pocket it. And the billiard is when you hit a ball first and then the cue ball hits the second ball. That's a billiard. So this shot will tell a little story. I think it passes really, and if not, it passes in the other pocket. This is sort of what I call the 50 yard line, but he's going one rail at the six. So he's definitely going to shoot here. And what you say, he's, he's going to shoot at this and go right at the six. Danny, I'm not so sure he can get by the nine in, in oh. attempting this to the corner pocket. Yeah, I think it's thin enough where you're not going to hit the nine. Yeah, and, and if it weren't a uh, problem and the eight weren't there, he could certainly go two rails to snooker, but I think he can hit it thin enough to go right at the six. It's a thin enough hit. He's just having trouble reaching, you know. It's in an awkward position for his stance. Let's see what he does here. I think he can cut at it. He's looking at it a long time, but like I said, he can't reach it well, you see? I think he's going right at the six. And if not, he can go two rails under the nine and play position that way. Could he be going at the nine? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about, my second choice. See what he did? Perfect. Except he missed the four. He missed the ball. Yeah. The control of the cue ball was perfect. Two rails, hit the nine, played the six up the corner. Well, let's see if, uh, you know, he's getting a lot of chances to get in this match. Let's see if he takes advantage this time. What's this going to be? 50-yard line, isn't it? No, he got a cut. That's Rest. isn't bad. No. no. You got a big pocket because you're hitting the, you're hitting the rails kind of close to it, perpendicular, I mean, parallel. The hardest thing for Silver right now is he's got to put all those negative thoughts out of his mind. Yeah. Got to forget last inning. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That would get your backer nervous. That's what I always say. When, when you come close to the pocket like that, your backer needs Silver to... Silver Towa on ball number seven. Good shot here to get from the seven to the eight. Yeah. 
He's not, he's not uh, in a real easy spot here. He might not even make this ball the way he's been uh, pocketing. Got to put a lot of English. Get what I mean? He the missed the ball number seven on the corner ball. pocket. But he had to do that to get Now it's hit. Shane Van Boyning's turn. Not quite happening the way Silver would have liked. No. Now, Shane has a very tough shot and tough position, but it's all free because uh, a little while ago, he would have been happy to have this and have the guy miss, right? When a guy misses, don't feel bad when he should have ran out. Even if it stops on the lights, you know, you got to feel good. Now, if he doesn't like it, he can, he can do that. Long shot to ball number seven. I've been calling. See, that's it. Perfect to do. But he wants to shoot. He feels like shooting. Oh, ball number seven to the corner off. pocket. Yeah, but the throat that he's got. It was for naught. Yeah, he's, I'll tell you what, he's got a lot of power, bad boning. He's got a harness. Preparation to ball number eight is not so nice. Now? You shoot straight on and, and stop the cue ball and two rail the eight to the end rail and maybe you get him with the nine. And if not, as long as you put that cue ball near the end rail, he's got to have a tough shot for position. Yeah, but he feels like shooting, so he's liable to cut this in or try to. That's what he's doing. I can see him on Could the Could he be trying to hit this off the bottom cushion? No, I think he's cutting at the ball. I think he's shooting the ball. No, you were right. You were right. I mean, look how well he hit it. He made a safety shot. And that's a shot you'd by see on a kicking table. ball number eight. Not quite so often on a pool table, but he's got a very mature head on young shoulders, Van Boning. Now he should you know why turn. the ball stops there after you hit the rail in the ball? Because he the, hit it. He the hit high it. retains. And he hit it flush. Yeah, he hit it flush and the high retains and it's making the cue ball go forward again. Now what do you do? Two rail kick? I like the two rail kick here. Which is this way. Well, I think he's trying to jump well, over the is, edge of the Chowa like is making a jump shot. Whack it. Jump shot to what's ball number eight. Gonna happen here. Well, again, we've got a good look from that overhead perspective, and you can yeah. see how much he's raising the back end of his cue to jump over the edge of the nine. Fraught with danger, this shot. Oh, yeah, I don't like his end. I like shooting second from here. Except he's going to at least leave a long shot. See it? You got second prize there, Danny. Yeah. And it isn't all that bad a second prize. No. Might not even want to shoot this mm -hmm. one. No, I, I can't see him. I can't see him. No change this on, turn to, to ball number eight. Not unless he's feeling real good. It's a long well, shot. When you're 24, filled with vinegar. You might, you might shoot it. But it's wide open Especially to the corner pocket. Is giving you innings you're not supposed to get. Well, if he knocks this in, gets the cue ball up towards the nine, this will be the best shot he's played in the match, and he is going at this. Yeah. Oh. Shane got and ball number eight to the corner enough. pocket. Nothing to it. Never touch the cushion. But he got another 50-yard line shot. This is not a gimme. I'd rather ball number nine is not that easy, but... Uh, you gonna try it? I like Van Boning to knock this in. After that eight? Yeah, you're right. He's you're gotta right. knock this in. This is easy after that shot. And, and Shane made the ball number nine now. to the corner pocket. The lead goes up to seven now it's two. seven two. Shane Van Boning in complete control here at the Chalk Off Arena. Day two, round one action. This has been a production of Billiard Club Network. For more, log on to billiardclub.net. First time in Chesapeake, 32nd U.S. Silver Open. Choa breaks the ball on rock number 12. Around the cushions there, but got a ball down. I think he played that glance break there. 
I think he played that. I don't think he was trying to hit him on the nose. Because it really glanced, you know. He couldn't have hit it that bad. I think he was playing that action. Well, well the great Luther Lassiter, he ball flew everywhere. You know, he tried to glance and fly around and hit the ball two rails again. You know, but he was a great nine ball player. Oh, no. He's overdrawn this, Danny. Yes, he has. Well, that's what happens when you're struggling and you're cinching the ball. You might tend to shoot a little too hard because you're cinching it. But he overcame it so far with a great save. Just a one cushion escape from Shane. The bottom cushion as we look. But again, looking for the full contact to put some distance between the cue ball and the two. You know, here you want to make sure you don't give him ball in hand because he's struggling and the only thing can make him possibly get loose is ball in hand. So hit the ball no matter what. Let him work. He's done that. He has, yes. Yes, the man is struggling, and I'm sure you wouldn't uh, run out and borrow money to bet he runs out here. Right? Earlier you said you would, but that was a different day and a different player. Well, that's a pretty good shot. Well, he has a good chance to get out here. Oh, the English didn't grab. It almost looked like he hit that with a little bit of you know, stun. He hit it to yeah, the right. top. He just right. caught the middle of the cue ball. You say stun. I, I say he hit the center ball. But uh, it's the same thing. You know, it was a bad shot, no matter what the word you use. Yeah. He's taking his medicine, not though. Not good. I mean, the safe, but it's not good he didn't get out. He didn't come close to getting out. You know, he's not feeling real happy about his game. easiest safety here in reply from Van Boning though either. when you're going bad you're playing bad they're not going to roll real real well he's going to try to spin cut it in see this shot if his shirt touches that ball that down there and then the cue ball goes and hits that ball it's a foul i saw a guy make the nine Cubo went three rails, the guy knocked the chalk on the table, and the Cubo hit the chalk, and it was a foul. Well, Shane can slice this in. Far from easy. Rail it's Definitely first. available. He's looking at rail first. You know, hit it with a little low ball, right-hand English. Hit the rail first, spin it in. But the Cubo has a chance to scratch in that pocket near the eight if you do that. Is he going to spin it the other way? I like rail first spinning to the right. That's why I'm in the booth with you and not out there. <laughs> he hit it. Look at this. Perfect. He hit the seven and controlled him to the six. 
But Danny, how many times have we said it? Well, number six to the Silver side pocket. The first real opportunity to win this rack. Right. Again, he didn't get out. This has happened five or six racks he's given away like that. Where it looks like number seven. a chance to get out. To the corner and nice James positioning to ball number eight. Up a notch because against some of the more elite players in this event, yeah. he's not going to get as many opportunities. Well, you know, it's also possible that the adrenaline... Now ball number nine. Not playing well. Yeah, I think that's a very real possibility. Shane Van Boyle wins the rock. Now it's nine over three. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And if you like the video, please subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell. And you will be updated to my next upload. You are out.